right, so let's jump right into um, what I wanted to give you for a demo today. That's a TCBSD. That's TwinCat for BSD. TwinCat BSD is a um, operating system distribution that uh, is being released by Beckoff as a alternative to uh, Windows. They're not completely moving away from Windows. Windows will still be around. However, uh, with the end of life on CE, on Windows CE, there's no real replacement. Uh, Windows 10 IoT Core is far too large for many embedded devices. And customers are also not wanting uh, Windows products on their controls and automation systems. They're um, becoming more and more adamant uh, about doing things with Docker and about using not Windows um, because of security issues and, and other problems that they've had. So Beckoff has uh, started migrating their TwinCat over to BSD because of the licensing with BSD being very open and permissive versus the viral license that is the um, GPL and how Linux is licensed. So what I want to do today is show you that you can run this in a virtual machine and connect to it with um, TwinCat and how, just how easy that is to do. So you can download it off of the website here. I will leave a link to exactly where you can download the uh, ISO file. I am going to build the virtual machine in UTM. UTM is for Mac. The steps I follow, however, should be very similar in, you know, any of the other VirtualBox or VMware or anything like that. You just watch what I'm doing and you'll see how to do it in uh, VirtualBox, whatever. This is, we're going to leave it as a X64 or an X86. This is one of the things I really love about uh, UTM is the fact that I can emulate virtually any piece of hardware and any kind of processor. I'm going to go ahead and leave that all standard and we will give this a gig of um, memory. I uh, don't need any QEMU. I'm going to jump over to drives. When I go to import drive, this is where I'm going to just, I'm going to import the ISO file as a drive, right? So instead of leaving it as a CD DVD, th for some reason this image is not, this is not bootable the way it is. All you have to do is make it a disk image. Is In fact, um, the instructions from Beckoff says to put it onto a USB. However, I'm not doing that for a virtual machine. So then we're gonna make a new drive. This one will be, um, we'll just make this one 15 gigs instead of 10. We'll create that and Let's check our network. We'll change it to a bridge network. Hit save. And this guy here. Let's go back here. And let's call it TC-VSD. Save. So now our TC-BSD. We'll get that running. It's going to boot off of that first system disk the one that's actually the ISO file. Here we are, and we're booting, going right into the install environment. In preparation, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my Windows and start up TwinCat. I'm gonna start a new TwinCat project. I'm gonna call it um, BSD test. Okay, and from PLC, we can add a new item, make a standard PLC project. And we're ready to go ahead and install. I'm gonna install it to my 15 gigabyte hard drive. Yes, it's okay if you erase that. Always make yourself a very strong and secure password using lots of characters and the combination of letters and numbers. Again, enter your very strong password. Let's see where we are here. Very good. I'm just going to go ahead and bring up the router. Edit routes so that when we're connected... We are prepared to engage with the PLC. Now that we're done, I'm going to go ahead and shut down. 
And the reason I'm going to shut down is because I need to remove that mounted disk image that has the bootable meter on it. So I'm going to go back to uh, settings. I'm going to drives. I'm just literally going to change the boot order so that this guy slid down to the bottom. Save. Start her up. Here we are. We can log in with administrator. And our strong secure password. There we are. Now we go back over to here. And let's try to look for it. We're gonna add a route. I'm gonna do a broadcast search. See so if we're gonna find that. There it is. 162. And it's TCBSD. There we go. Add a route. Just use the regular login with my wrong secure password. And close this guy. Close this guy. Now, we are all set to start a little project. In our untitled project here, we'll go to POUs, main. I'm going to add a variable in this declaration area up top. That variable is going to be called count. Count. And we're going to assign it to the type of int. And then if I hit F6, I can jump down to the programming area underneath the declaration area. And we're going to just write a small little program to count is equal to count plus two. There we have it. So now that we have a route to the PLC, I can go ahead and hit activate. Um, oh, sorry. Didn't activate our route. So now we have our route as the target. I'm going to hit activate and this will be activated and ready to connect to that PLC. It's going to ask me, yes, I need some runtime licenses. So QF F Y D We're going to go ahead and restart in run mode. As we're going to see these icons go active. So now it's in run mode. I can go ahead and log in. When I log in, it's going to tell me that the application is not on the device. Do I want to download? Yes. Okay. Logged in. And we are counting. We're actually running from TCBSD over on the UTM app here. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this uh, content, make sure um hit that button. Come see us at uh, solusplc.com, and uh, we will be bringing more content uh, like this weekly. Mm -hmm.